Alright. Time for a Warwick game. This is going to be a lower elo game. I will show you how you can easily carry with this champion. It is fairly straightforward as well. Uh, the, the gameplay plan, at least. The, the game style, I guess you could call it. Uh, so yeah, I'll explain everything as I go. And you know, that's about that. I am facing a Shivana here, which should be fine for me. I'm quickly going to go over and see if I can potentially walk back and forth here real quick. There we go. We're going to place that down and I'm going to start here, I think. Uh, my plan is to just go fairly aggressive on this champion. You can do that in one of two ways, really. Uh, you can either do three camps, uh, which is going to be like blue, grump and red buff in most cases. And then you look for an invade or an aggressive play against the enemy jungler or a gank. If a gank is an opportunity, all of those are fine. Or you start on this side of the map specifically, really, because this uh, this side of the map makes this more doable. Otherwise, it's like red, blue, grump, and then potentially invade this side red buff. But in this case, I could just start on the red buff here. And then I can go red, blue, grump on this side and kill the Shivana when she's done with wolves. Which is kind of what I'm looking to do in this scenario. It's... Uh, more of a top side play, which is always more favorable since there is a less chance that I would actually react to something compared to both side. So, yeah. Alright. Not gonna smite any of this, by the way. Like, not gonna smite this camp. I'd rather have smite up for either the blue or the gromp within the jungle for the enemy. Because right? that's gonna benefit me more. I'm just gonna move over instantly here. And the Shivana is a champ that will just full clear. So she's gonna be doing her Krugs right now. Um, and then I could just walk in and it should be completely fine. This this type of strat I would not recommend against like something like an Elise. Because then you would run into more issues. Because we're not like looking at an enemy jungler that's actually full clearing here at that moment in time, right? So they will be here much faster potentially. And I mean you can fight and you're still Warwick. You're still very very strong in the early game. So you can do that but it is uh, not... Like, you're not level 3, so having your E is actually very beneficial for these types of things. Uh, you could smite early if you want, like, extra tempo in your camp for your W proc, but I'd rather secure a smite than anything else. Now, with this cleared, I am pretty much just gonna sit here, I think. Because, I mean, in this scenario, there's a very high chance you should walk in like this, unless this was warded. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know how slow this guy is, though. Am I wasting my time now? Oh, there you are. Should we see lock him correctly? And I should be able to get within the last auto attack range. I wasn't going to rely on my red buff killing in that situation because it was looking a little sketch on the red buff angle there. Um, the burn damage doesn't... Like, it got nerfed as well, I believe, so... I wasn't going to risk it. I just walk after him with like, my W speed up and flash. Don't really want to gank the top wave here because, I mean, while I could go for the Alawi play in that scenario, um, the wave was fairly big, and I don't know if that would have been a necessary play uh, in this in a, like in this situation here. I could just go bot scuttle right now, and then clear my like bot side. Maybe go for a bot lane gank because the wave position for that is good as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really what I like to do in this side of the map. Do the red, blue gromp, and then just wait there against full clear junglers. You rat. He was just slightly faster than me. Oh, uh, my bot lane's not going to react to this, are they? No, oh, nope, we're fine. My bot lane actually reacted to this. We are happy. All right. I forgot to put my potion at the start of that fight, so that might cost me here. Perfect. Nice, nice. Well done. Good job. They reacted. I thought that this, what they did, was what they were going to do, so it actually worked out. I was a little scared that I was like, ah, actually... I don't know if that was a, that was the correct move, right? Because getting a little dicey, but it worked. We're happy. The only mistake I really made in that fight necessarily was just using my potion too late. Because I still had a potion. I always like to take a potion if I'm going for an invade like this. Because the potion, the extra health, will actually mean quite a bit in like early game fights. But don't need it for the clear or anything of that nature. It's purely just for that, um, for that fight that I'm looking to take, right? I'm not looking to take any fights, then I wouldn't take the potion because Warwick doesn't need it. But on any fight situation, the HP for potion is good. And there it could have cost me my life not using it. And could have saved my life using it, basically. So it's kind of like a... Uh, you get what I mean. 
Get the Tiamat here. Beautiful. This is the item you're looking to rush. And then I have the money for the Sheen, so I will get that too. And now we can look to transition more into like a clear heavy style here. Um, it doesn't have to be completely full clear like every single time style, right? What we're looking to do on Warwick essentially from this point forward is play around your blood hunt passive as much as you could, as much as you can. If somebody gets low within the blood hunt, then you want to go for the target, want to go for the gank. If they don't, then you can default to clearing a bit more, and then when your camps are down, you can look for the gank a bit more. So those are options. Now, could I gank top lane here? Potentially, yes, but she just hit six, so I actually am going to refrain from doing that. If she was still level five, I'd go for it. But level six, Alawi there is fairly scary with her ult. She would probably double kill us at this moment in time. I'm basically just like now looking for anybody that wants to lose a bunch of HP right now. This guy, for example, he could just engage this. Just gonna, uh, if they're not low HP, you could just activate your W passive and it's fine. We're going to fear him instantly. And then we're going to hold Q on the last one there. Like I'm auto attacking him twice within the fear and then I hold Q in case he like flashes or something of uh, something like that. And then that way I can kind of, well, dash with him if he flashes. Okay. I don't know if he survives that. Oh, he actually does. Wow. Uh, he, she might walk down here. I could walk around, like wait around the corner and see if she shows up. There she is. I won't, I won't get her here, I don't think. She has the boots advantage over me in this scenario. Plus, I am very afraid in this in this case to actually go super aggressive because of Alawi. And my Jace is like 10 HP and Alawi is like nearly full. So if I continue that fight, I would lose it. If I had flash, I would kill her in time, but I don't kill her in time there. It is what it is. I'm going to quickly take this red buff here and I think after this I'm just going to insta reset go bolt. Maybe I don't reset and I go bolt. I just run bolt now. Especially if this ash gets low enough. That would work. I might have to go bolt lane here. I can't go top lane here. I don't really want to deal with an Alawi anyway. I feel like Jay should be dealing with Alawi by himself just fine in most cases. But No, you'd have to run. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't run. That's a problem. I think I can get the Ash, potentially. This is a little risky, but I'll go for it. Yep. Good. Now the question is, do I get out? Because I didn't hit level 6. I thought I was going to hit level 6 there. Oh, I'm dead now. If I hit 6 there, I can survive. Because then I can use my ult to dash out of a place, out of the sticky situation I was in. And I was thinking the Ash was going to hit me level 6, but it didn't. So, hindsight, I should have probably just suicided to the turret. Which is a mistake on my end. She is doing it 100%. It's not even a question to be asked about that one. We can contest this, I think. But not if Leona walks bot lane here. We'll see if I make uh, if I make it. Like, this guy's low HP, so I can increase the movement speed towards it. Okay, yeah. I didn't. This guy should be dead. Yield it into that direction, surely, right? Alright, good. At least she died. Now, I don't know if I would have made it necessarily, to be honest. It was very close there. I want to now look for, like, the uh, Rift Herald, if possible. I'm gonna smite this right here. Like, Rift Herald is still my, like, bigger priority when it comes to, like, early objectives. In that situation, I just thought I could make it in time. Just gonna W to speed myself up. And then we go in with ults. And finish him off. Very well done, Anivia. Good job. All right, let's check top scuttle here. Yeah, in that situation, he wasn't low, but the play was an option, so we just press W instead. Instead of, like, passively getting, we just actively press it. Now, the, I'm, I'm wanting to do this Rift Herald here, but I'm also quite afraid of this right now. Honestly, why didn't it dash? Didn't it? I don't know. Did it not dash because my pet hit it first or something? I'm confused. But this is a little scary because Anivia just reset and the Alawi has a tremendous amount of pressure on top lane. So if I do get engaged on here, I'm most likely losing Rift Girl. But I'm assuming this, uh, this uh, Shivana just goes camps because all her camps are up. So that's what she ended up doing, which is good for me. Keep maxing your W. Right, cool.
not ideal. Now let's clear my top side and I can reset, look for a bot lane play because the wave should about bounce back at that moment in time. Probably might be able to look for a top lane play, but Alawi is still very scary without my ult, especially. I don't know about that one. I could just use the Baron Recall and go bot lane here as fast as I can, basically. This is not going to happen. The wave is going to push into the Alawi, so we're not going to go for it. I also have Trinity Force in base, but I do want to be picking that up. And now I could just walk towards my bot side, get everything that would be here. And then I could look for maybe a bot lane play when the wave bounces back and my bot lane gets back out of base. That's kind of what I'm looking at at the moment. Also, another thing to mention, by the way, about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy my content, uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you would consider subscribing, uh, checking if you're subscribed, and yeah, that's really that. Okay, wait for my bot lane to be back, and then we go for it now. The plant is here, so that's kind of what I'm hoping to do. We W activate. That guy's already dead, so I don't have to worry about him. Fine. I didn't really want to ult for it, but I'm also like, I don't know. I was try hoping to get within E range on that one. I should have smited her slightly faster for the Nimbus Cloak speed up. That was a mistake there a little bit. Um, but yeah, they overextended there, which is good for me. They got the engage on the Soraka. I don't get the assist on the Soraka, but it doesn't matter. Really. Help, help, he says. There's a very specific reason why I'm not helping full plane. And the specific reason is called Alawi. It's literally just that champion. Like, if you walk into that champion with ult up especially, it's over for you. <laughs> and especially, like, Jace by himself should have been having a very nice time in lane, but doesn't play Jace very well, basically, is what it comes down to. So, I'm not going to deal with it. That's how I see Alawi. I just don't want to deal with it. That champion is dumb. If he wants you so unbelievably easily. The Rise is rotating out of mid, so I do want to be a little bit careful in this scenario. Rise might be here. No? Oh, there he is. You know what you've done. Okay, sure. You oh the Sor Soraka silence prevented me from getting my Q off as well. You have to be joking me. There's way too high HP. Damn. How long do I still have left? 52 seconds. I could. I'm gonna take Red Buff first if I'm going for this. I'm assuming she doesn't have ult up right now. I'm going. I will take this fight with the ult, with my red buff. I hoping her ult's down basically. This is warded. Nope. This is just warded. It's just an ungankable lane, really. 16 seconds. I'm gonna place it mid lane instead. 12 seconds. Alright, this is gonna go mid lane here. He face rushed. I was hoping to get him with a, with a better fear angle, but it didn't work. That's very unfortunate. And I lost lost my Rift Herald before the turret plates, actually. I'm still going to get the mid turret here, ideally. I wasted time going full plane there, honestly. I really did. She got egg. I need to kill turret. That's the only way she lives here. I didn't kill any time. That's probably not the call I think you should make, Shivana. Is it? It is. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I couldn't survive that one apparently. Oh, she's going. Uh, she's going Iceborne. I see. Fair enough. I could not really move out of her E, which ended up me taking too much damage uh, percentage HP wise. That was kind of shitty for me there, I think. Ah, uh, she's gonna get it here. I don't think my bot lane can stop. I mean, maybe she stops this. Maybe. Ah, uh, she gets it with smite anyway. We do lose dragon, but I guess we kill her. 
I, I don't know if there's a way I could have played this to, to save myself, basically. Maybe there, maybe there is. Maybe I should not have tried to fight her like that. With the amount of gold I had in my inventory, I could not win that. Otherwise, I would have, obviously, if I had my money spent, but... I'm not happy about the fact that I used my Rift Girl too late for third place, though. I was I shouldn't have gone top lane. I should have just used it mid lane like I wanted to initially. Still don't want to go for the Alawi, honestly. The blue here. He's, he's losing completely. It is what it is. Do I try to fight the Alawi? I really don't know. The only way I win this is if Ilawi doesn't, like, if I walk in and Ilawi doesn't E this guy, so he doesn't get a ghost out of it. If he doesn't get the ghost out of it, I think there's a good chance I kill, but otherwise I just don't. He also has a tremendous amount of armor. Look at Herald. We'll see what happens. I have ult if I have to get out. Still got the mid turret off the map, so the map is at least somewhat open for me. She does have two dragons, though. scared. Jace is 1 HP. I'm very scared. My ult up front. Oh, my... Oh, I got Ash ulted. Okay, yeah. Nah, nah, I don't know. It's a negative fight situation there. Jace is absolutely useless, basically, so... Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to fight it. I picked up the Rift Herald quickly, and then after that I should have just instantly left. But my Jace, yeah, he's like 10 HP there, doesn't do anything at all. So, just walks past this wave and goes mid. I got Ash ulted as well, which kind of sucked. I think without the Ash ult, there may have been a small chance to survive that. But the Ash ult coming in and killing me is just like over, right? It is what it is. Um, definitely just some steel caps here. It's fine. We're slowly getting stronger. It's all good. That's a ward? My... Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I got... Alright, fire. I got punished. Rice took my wolves and my blue buff. Goddamn. I respect it. Might upgrade, good. The Soraka first. Fight him down. Nimbus Cloak get this guy first because he's a freer kill. And then we go Rise if possible. Nope. Maybe not possible. That's fine. It's a good situation to be in. Welcome back into the Anivia. Good. Yo, what the? That was a. I held my. Okay, sure. <laughs> I thought I held it, but apparently I didn't. All right, let's just herald this. Honestly, and it's probably my best bet. Just herald this mid third right now. Get some cues in there for a bit of healing. That's aggressive. I'm gonna be tanking this. I need help. Don't let him kill me, man. What is that? Oh, it's a mirror, really. I, I'm kind of surprised she walked back like that, because I think she could have just killed, but... Okay, fair enough. We got the turret anyway. Uh, 50 seconds on Dragon. I kind of want to play for that. Don't want to give him that one. I need magic resist quite badly here, so I'm going to go Spirit Visit next item. I could actually go Wits, and mm, Spirit Visit is probably better. I think Spirit Visit is probably better, yeah. They do a lot of magic damage to me right now, and I really need the extra MR. Right, Spirit Visage it is. Just need a little bit more gold. Yep, perfect. Let's go. Ace picks up red. Regardless of anything, Jace should be able to just wave clear, so I don't think that should be much of an issue. Small chance they'd Baron, but I doubt it. Oh, okay. If my team dies beforehand, though, that is a problem. 
which it looks like that is going to happen sadly all right then I got silenced again, you annoying rat, man. I really dislike Soraka as a champion, I am not gonna lie. Oh, you are going in on this, okay. Hear him. Finish him off, perfect. Didn't get the kill, but doesn't matter, I don't care. The Soraka silence prevented me from just cleaning the team fight out completely. Fair enough, mate. Soraka, lovely champion. I don't have smite. I don't think it matters, Shivana's dead obviously, so it should be fine, but just letting your team know regardless of the situation that you don't have smite is a good way to go. Okay. Clear my bolt side camps. I should be getting my spirit visits very, very shortly here, which is what I'm looking for right now. And then after that, I think I just go with send, because they have such high magic damage here on their team. Like Shivana does a tremendous amount. AP AP, AP there. Just go for the spirit or for the wits end probably i could also go blade of the rune king to be fair because shivana is building quite tanky uh, so i could maybe do like wits end and blade of the rune king or just blade of the rune king or just wits end not sure what route i'm gonna go down to honestly or go down in this path well in this game this blade is obviously very good here still this rise is also going to be quite hp tanky as well so i do have to keep, keep all of that into account wait Where's the Leona ult? We're not gonna... Okay. thought she was just ult the guy, but uh, yeah, sure. Fair enough. I'll go do my uh, Krugs here. It's fine. Oh, that's a teleport. I probably can go for a top lane play here. My entire team is going for this, so it's, I guess it's fine. Elawi ult's gonna destroy quite a bit, though. They are not careful. Finish him off as fast as possible. I did miss my ultimate there, but closing the distance, I think, is fine already. Obviously, you'd like to hit your ultimate, don't get me wrong, but it's not the worst thing in the world there. Just doing Baron might actually just be the move. I generally think doing Baron here is fine because I don't think they can react. Shivana just lost her dragon form as well. Without this dragon form, I don't think she can contest. Also, I have an Ivia ult, uh, or for like an Ivia for damage output on Baron, so I think it's just a super free Baron. Because the Shivana is never going to walk up to this uncontested at no dragon form. I just know that. She is so much weaker without it. Hold me. There you go. Fair play. Alright, let's get this. Oh, I'm thinking still going for the, uh, like, I can obviously go this one still with the items I just bought. So I still have some time to consider this situation. I can kind of anticipate, like, she's building Nashers right now. I kind of anticipate how tanky they're going to be. And this guy built a lot more HP just now. They lost blue buff to Rise, I would imagine. For Baron, I don't really care. That's a fair trade for me. Put that down. The scuttle here as well. I have about four, yeah, fourteen out of twenty KP. That's very solid. Oh, I'm gonna go. That's okay. She just flashed out of that one. That's not the best build in my end. that matters how do i get a shield to that of everyone here really all right fair enough maybe should have activated my w just normally there oh my, my jace is completely trolling as well as my leona they, they just walked up super far behind the turret there there's no reason to do it i'm gonna have to do these camps and heal nothing else to be done nothing to play for at the moment it's all good i'll just clear this Take what I can from the Shivana and be happy about it. I could have played that much better though. I should have activated my W earlier, but I didn't want to initially like show I'm like within the area essentially. I didn't really do that, but I should have done that because I would have catch uh, caught the guy much sooner. I'm gonna clear the wave real quick here. I killed him. 
dragon and 50. Don't necessarily have anything to back for. Like, I have some gold to spend, but it's not crucial gold to spend, so it's fine. Not a big fan of the XP she took, but it's fine, whatever. Ah, uh, she flashed the other way. Alright, Soraka flashed down, fine. Kill this guy, man. What, where, like, can we do, like, like, she doesn't have Leona ult, I see, okay. Fair play, then it doesn't matter. I was like, why aren't you just Leona ulting the guy no, with no flash? But, doesn't matter in this case, it's fine. Am I getting any backup? Ouch, okay, this allow is gonna hurt. I'm gonna have to respect this now. I hope this camp is up, because it can give me all of my health back. Okay, now I have another fight opportunity potentially, which is what I'm looking at. I don't want to flash for that. I don't. Oh no, he just lost. I'm gonna rush to the rise then. I'm just gonna use my movement speed here to get to him if I can. He's gonna get the third. And if I lost the one v one against its champ, I'm gonna lose the third for that one, aren't I? Ah, oh, please, 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 please. Okay, I prevented him from hitting the turret, losting to the turret at least. But does he get to survive now because I did that with my ult to get in range? Surely not, right? Really, really. All right, I shouldn't have ulted the way I did. I wanted to try to save him. If he was standing still to auto attack there, I would have saved the uh, turret. Got it. I'm gonna go for the Ash. Follow him with the flash over the wall. I instantly queued him because I knew it was what he was gonna do. Why am I getting CC locked, man? Are you serious right now? Look at this situation! My, my god. So much CC into me still. Like Ash ulted here as well. I couldn't finish him off. But if I would have just been able to kill that Ash, that would have been so good. I think I'm just gonna go Black uh, Blade of the Rune King, extra life steal as well. This is this is tough, man. This is really tough right now. The Soraka silences are quite on point too. I feel like I uh, lack a very capable amount of solo laners, sadly. But it is what it is. Enemy team is doing work. They all have. 100 CS more than my solo laners, both of them. That is quite something. Yeah, pretty tough fight situations to be in for sure. I did get the dragon though, so that's good. I was able to smite that away. So overall, fairly happy with the fight situation, but throughout this game at the moment, it's looking a little sus for sure. Because they do have quite good scaling as well, right? So longer this game goes, I'm not so sure if we're actually going to be able to win it. Hey, but at least I'm not 25-0, and 0, right? So that's good. Let's clear all this. Shivana's over there. Like, they really should just go in and engage. That's just an insta-kill. If we can kill Soraka there, that's just a Baron. I'm gonna CC lock him as long as possible so he doesn't get the ult. Why would you knock him like that, Jace? Oh no, you just cost me every single ounce of health that I had. That knockback was the worst thing on the planet, by the way. Because that put him out of the range for the rest of the team to hit, where she would have just insta-died. <laughs> that was a scary one. Alright, fair. Uh, the CC lock was long enough so the Alawi couldn't get the ult off, which is really good. Because not being able to get the ult off just saved, uh, saved my entire life there. Because otherwise, if she gets the ult off, I'm just dead. W here. Here. I guess the auto attack on this inhibitor. No, he doesn't. Oh, let's go. CC lock was good. Really, I... I'm sad. Like, I should have pinged it sooner, but it's really annoying. I could have gotten my Blade of the Rune King there. Please be up. Alright, good. I 
to wait 50 gold if I want to get this thing right now. That's just not going to happen in base right now. That sucks. I'm going to go for a red buff because I saw Shivana walk up her and she might be waiting for it. So she did just hit my raptors. So I'm going to kill her right here. Should be fast enough, right? I don't know if I win the 1v1 though. She's too fast. It sucks. Leona, I, I guess I should have pinged her more aggressively to answer that guy, but... I'll get my recall now anyway for the Blade of Rune King, finally. So I'll get this, I can walk out of base, get the red buff, and then with the red buff I can play on the map again. I wonder if Jace is actually AFK. That would be unfortunate. Yep, seems like we have a 4v5 on our hands. Oh, no we don't. Okay, cool. I oh, might be pinging something. I do have him muted. Little Soraka, please. That would be so good. Oh, got the heal off. I'm gonna focus the rise right now. Can we kill the rise, please? What, can you just hit him, team. My god. I'm gonna die to Alawi right now if I'm not. If I'm trying to run, but I don't think I can. Yep. Ah, oh, that ride survived for absolute years, sadly. She still has egg, so this is good. I mean, it's fine. He threw a bunch of damage into me. I really was just hoping for the rise to die like five times faster. I do think he should have died five times faster, but what can you do, right? A stone plate for double resist here is what I'm going to go for, for sure. To finish off the build with that. I just got, like, pulled by the tentacle, and that thing does so much damage if you're standing within a Lowy ultimate. It's just, there's nothing I can do. I die so fast to that, it's, like, unbel it's actually unbelievable. Like, if you want to fight the Alawi, you have to wait until she misses the uh, the E, I believe it is, the tentacle thing that throws out and puts your, pulls your soul out, right? You can dodge that one, then she is a lot less threatening, but if she hits that and then ults, which is what happened to me there, you nearly insta-die. There is almost nothing you can do about it. I guess I could buy a Zonias, potentially. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, there's not much I can do about it. I am kind of looking to potentially pick up this red buff here as well. Oh, boy. You are not in a good position there, mate. It should be a ult range, and it should kill this guy. That's good. My damage reduction up. I'm not chasing the Alawi into her ultimate. That's not going to happen today. Alright, we're just gonna go over this way, kill the Rise, and get away from the Shivan at the same time. Alright then. That does no damage, holy shit, Jace. Oh, <laughs> that does absolutely no damage. I think that's fine. I saw an opportunity to ult over the wall to hit the Ash, which was good. Um, after that, like, yeah. I can't really continue on the Alawi because she just put like the ult up and everything, so that's just gonna insta kill me. Have to get out. The idea that Shivana wasn't a really like I could have probably fought the Shivana in that scenario. However, uh, the situation with Rise here was looking a little scary, so I decided to like just flash the wall to be sure of both scenarios. I can kill the Rise and survive the Shivana. Smite that actually. Oh, we're going for Soraka instantly, no questions asked. They kill them easily. Good, good, good. And yeah, we see Soraka, we go Soraka. Like, so that's, that's just the answer to everything right now. Slow is good. Couldn't get, the, couldn't get there. That does nothing. <laughs> that does absolutely nothing. Oh, all right, fair enough. I am not going to linger around bot lane here. There's not much to be gained. Maybe if he walks up, there's something to be gained, to be fair. That's a good flank on this on my end there with the fear. Prepped it instantly walked in walked it into him, which should allow us to get the turret here. I, I can tank this for the team, just, just gonna go for the ash, it's fine. I don't think this Elawi can kill me. I just have to see Sea Locker with fear there and smite her as well for every single ounce of damage I can, so she can't get anything off. That's a really good situation. Very solid engage on my end. 
Got within ult range on the guy, and we should be able to actually end here, I believe. Can we end here? As long as they hit third, we can end here. Get the damage reduction flowing. Fear the guy. Pray that my team does something. Lost part is very important. We can hit we can hit Nexus here. This is very, very good. Yeah, so I would have built the stone plate here and then I could sell boots for potentially a uh, Deadman's plate or something would be movement speed wise. Fine. We have 3.2k here, 2k here, 2k here, and 2.7k healing there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 36.8k damage, which is the second highest on my team, but also the second highest in the game, actually. And getting out DPS by the AD carry in a 35 minute game is expected, so yeah, not, not surprised there. I'm a little bit surprised by Anivia only doing 19k damage, though, because this champion generally has tremendous amounts of damage. Uh, like the 60s at this point in the game so as uh yeah it definitely made the game more difficult with the solo laners being very very far behind behind the enemy solo laners at like 100 cs or something which is a lot so yeah true damage to champions at 1700 damage to objectives at 49.6k we have healing done at 34k we have damage taken at 55.5 which is a tremendous amount of damage taken and this is not everything like, this is a really good situation, right? Because I did, like, the second highest damage. Plus, I also enabled my team a lot with team fights, which was an important one. Like, getting good fears or flanks or engages. And damage taken is high here, fulfilling a good amount of my role. And then another self-mitigate and another 69k as well. So, in total, I took, like, 120, 130k. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage taken, especially considering my uh, damage is obviously still super high as well. So very, very solid there. A gold earned at 17.8. Again, not surprised that Samira had more gold than me. She also had a good amount of kills. Um, we have runes here. The Pressy attack dealt 3200 damage. The Triumph healed me for 2000 plus a bit of extra gold. The attack speed here, last stand for a bit of bonus damage on lower HP, which on Warwick is very good, obviously. And then Nimbus Cloak and Water Walking. Um, but anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next video.